Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday afternoon. Thank God it's Friday. It's about about four o'clock in the afternoon uh, in Tucson, Arizona. Let's see here. So this up. So Friday Fridays we usually play with the flare. So uh, we are going to play with the flare this uh, afternoon here. Hold on. Let me get my equipment set up here. So I got my computer set up. So uh, if you have any questions or comment. Uh, ask me on the chat room as well. I can see it. Uh, oh, Justin is joining us. Big shout out to Justin. Uh, he is always on. And also Hans is on. Good. Okay, so it's going to be fun. Okay, so I have the flare pack, uh, flare right here. Uh, we have the Rock Espresso Grinder. And uh, let's see. So I'm using the, this time, the Fellow Stag. Okay. The electric kettle okay so let's use that for fellow and then what else we're gonna use uh we are going to open up that brand new bag okay so this is a brand new bag from battery bone coffee in tucson uh so these guys are a micro roaster so uh roasted on 710th about what three weeks ago but i have not opened this one yet so we are going to open it so this is going to be great. Uh, this is a naturally processed coffee beans. Natural means it's not water wash. So this is the fermented uh, naturally processed. By the way, uh, if you guys know exactly what natural process is, uh, please let me know in the comment section as well. So far I tried a couple of different natural processed coffee beans. It has been fantastic. So, so let's get going. Okay. So you know what? So I'm going to show you guys from the beginning to the end okay so because sometimes I uh, do the initial setup but I'm gonna show you how each to use the flare is so uh, let's get going I'm just gonna change the angle of my camera hold on bingo and then you get to see the how I make coffee with flare give you the the yeah so what I'm, I'm going to start with the water first. So it comes to water wise. Hold on. Let me show that. Well, with the fellow stack, you can actually set the water temperature. I set at 100 C. And also you can actually have a toggle switch on the back. You can change the uh, Fahrenheit as well. So 100 is a maximum. And the back of it, you can actually hold the temperature. You can hold it. Hold this on, which means if I put it back on, it's going to be always set at 100. That's boiling hot. Okay. This water is boiling right now. So that's my rock espresso grinder. But meantime, we are going to set up the flare here. I'm just going to set it aside. We're gonna move fast here, okay? So here's my temper. Okay. By the way, water is ready already, okay? I'm at 97C right now, Celsius, 99. Uh, we are going to use the, you know, let's use a, it's called non pressurized basket from Flare. So I'm using the Neo, but I upgrade the filter basket and the, the pressure gauge. That's it. Okay, I'm just going to use that. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to, we are going to warm up. We are going to warm up the water chamber by Put some water in it like this, so okay. The width, uh, flare is all about managing the heat, okay? So you want to be get hot as possible. So I'm just with the hot water here, I'm just gonna get the water temperature hot as we can. All right, let's see here. I mean, even this metal piece as well. I'm just going to put it in there as well. I'm just going to put some water in it. Just make sure everything is nice and hot. 
So while everything is warming up here, I'm just going to measure out. Let's use 15 gram. Let's do 15. So this is the brand new bag. Man, it smells, this smells wonderful, guys. I got 15 gram. Okay. So whenever you're using the Rock Express Grinder, I like to use the RDT method. I'm just going to put some little bit of water on my fingertips. Just go through it. I know people use it like squirt gun, but I'm a, it doesn't take much. Okay. I got 15 gram in. Okay. Now we are grinding some coffee grinds. Uh, by the way, if you guys are curious about the grinder setting, I'm using it at five clicks on a Rock Espresso grinder. I have to say, this is a lot easier than hand grinder, folks. Okay. This manual grind is a lot easier than hand grinder. And what I like to do is once I'm done with it, I'm just like kind of like tap it a little bit. Just get the, all the coffee grinds out. Okay. So that's it. I mean, as you can see, there's no static there. There's no static issues. Okay, let's prepare the puck. So we put 15 grams in. You know, let's find out how many grams we extracted, okay? You know, let's figure it out. Got 15 in. Let's find the retention rate on the Rock Espresso. 14.9 gram. So we got 15 in, 14.9 gram out. So it comes to reten uh, retention, the Rock does really far there does really good job there all right let's put some shot I'm just gonna dump some water here okay I'm just gonna do one more time Get on my filter basket. Okay, this is this is nice and hot. I mean, as you can see, the workflow is pretty. I mean, pretty easy. Okay. At this point, I'm going to prepare the puck here. We are using 15 gram, actually 14.9 gram. Okay. You know what? I like to use the WDT on this. Okay. Just make sure. No, everything is nice and fluffy. And this point, uh, we are going to use uh, my uh, the crema all-in-one distribution tool, like so, and followed by the, the temp section right here. I mean, it looks pretty good. Okay, it's perfect. Let's not forget the shower screen. Pop it in. I'm 
and then I'm going to put the top on top. You know what? So we got 15 gram in. So let's do a one to two ratio. We got 15 in. Let's do uh, 30 gram out, okay? 15 in 30. I'm just gonna heat up my cup one last time. Okay. Water is ready. Gonna get my scare set. All right, let's pour the shot. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna set the zero. One last time. Here we go. Oops. I'm just going to give you a pre-infusion by doing about maybe one or two bar pressure. And then whenever I see the drips there, I'm just going to give it a, go up to nine bar. Espresso zone right there. I'm just going to work in that area. And I'm slowly lower my pressure. Go to copper bars and finish it up. We got 15 in and 33 gram out. Okay. Pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. I'm just gonna take this. Okay. So you know what? Let's try this shot okay let's give it a try and then let's talk about this i mean as you can see i've been doing it for about what 12 minutes okay yes i mean if uh, without the camera here I, I bet you i can't make that one in about five minutes okay this is really really uh easy to use the flare i have to say this is really easy but you know what let's find out about the uh espresso this is a ethiopia so naturally processed, so you should be the bright, okay, and then uh, very fruity as well. So let's try the espresso. It's about four o'clock, so I'm just gonna have a little, okay. I don't want to be stay up all night. Cheers. Smells really good. Yeah, it's very fruity. Wow, they're extremely bright. Okay, boy, that's really good. Okay, I bet you if I'm gonna do one more time, my phone's ringing. But anyway, so if I do one more time, because now everything is even hot right now, if I put another shot, it's gonna get even hotter. Okay, so that is the perfect time to make it. But I mean, again, I'm you know, let's make a long black. Okay, let's make a long black here. So, so we are making the long black. I'm just gonna put the rest of my espresso. By the way, uh, with a fellow stack, the one, okay. This is really extremely nice, very powerful. Do not touch that metal part right there. They're hot. So whenever you grab something, don't touch here either. Just make sure to uh, grab your, you know, just handle only, okay? Do not touch the metal. So be careful. Uh, it's not, yeah, it's, it's hot. So this is uh, Ethiopia coffee. So this is the long black. Cheers. By the way, if someone wants to know, okay, so this is the Ethiopia coffee piece from, uh, Batter bone, okay. Batter bone. So this is a local coffee shop. 
yeah this is it man so again ethiopia straight espresso mm, i'm not there uh, i'm not recommending it but definitely uh americano or long block be even better it's really good okay very fruity so again, so this is a naturally processed, oh, by the way, I do have a coupon code for these guys, 20% uh, off. So go check out their website and uh, just put HUN25 on the coupon code. You're going to get a 25% off. Okay. Let's see here. All right. Let's see. I'm looking at some, uh, Hans say fellow has a floor restrictor. Yes, uh, it is slow. So, uh, fellow is a fantastic for like pour over, uh, compared to my, uh, Brewster kettle. They're different. So again, with a the fellow, they're made for pour over. Okay, if you want something, you know, fast flow rate, this is not it. But if you, if you're, if you guys are into, uh, let's say pour over, this is it. Because maybe I can show you guys. Let's clear up some space here. Again. With the fellow stack comes the accuracy it's really accurate so so this is fast you go as slow as you go you have a lot of control with the fellow again so i mean if you are looking for something faster flow rate maybe get something like this okay this is really powerful look at the mouse i mean this that works great as well but if you guys are really into the pour over they're great okay they're fantastic let's see oh by the way i think if some of you miss my earlier video today okay hold on maybe i'm gonna give you guys a quick preview for tomorrow morning. quick preview time you are going to see tomorrow morning this guy right here. So this is the uh, Javi all in one. So it has a built-in grinder, built-in scale. Also, this is the pour-over portion. This is the automatic. Uh, so this is the uh, uh, um, automated. Okay, you can actually program as well. Here's the water chamber. So uh, we are going to do the live demo tomorrow morning. I mean, obviously you guys already saw my uh, nine, uh, X bar machine. Okay, so this is my Brewster kettle. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, so anyway, uh, I think Michael did a, a Re review on that machine already so i think he posted the michael did and also i Brista on youtube channel did that machine as well they did the review you know they did a great job on making that video so so tomorrow morning uh we are going to do the live demo on that machine okay uh, live demo on that uh javi uh all in one so so let's find out okay let's find out what that feels like using it so that's a great thing about the live streaming I have no room to hide okay so that is a kind of like what you see is what you get so i mean i mean you're gonna see for yourself so that's a lot of fun all right and then what else here uh, what's new uh if you have any, if you have any questions or comment uh ask me on the chat room i i i see the computer right now so yeah just make sure press like on all, all my videos okay and let's see here uh, you got dumb dumb coffee uh he loves the straight Ethiopian espresso that's good for you buddy yeah I don't I mean it all depends though some days I really like this uh, straight up and uh, some days not so but coffee tastes really good okay you know what someone's calling me so I, ha I have to get going I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday uh, maybe I'm, I'm gonna see you guys on Instagram